Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a curtain in 3ds Max. So what you can see over here is uh, the completed design and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can reach up to this particular design and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step, uh, methods to reach up to this design here. So to start off, uh, I'll just open up a new file, and I'll I'll just uh, click on the new option, new all, and I'll reset it. <coughs> so I have selected the new file, and uh, I have reset it right over here. It's like this, and to start off. I'll just select the front view. I'll click on the Alt W to maximize and go to standard primitives and create a plane. So you can create it like a A4 a sheet of paper and increase the length segments. almost like uh, maybe 30 and uh, 25 so that's uniform and uh, the next thing you need to do is create a box over here and another one somewhere here so these boxes are going to work as nodes. Now come to the top view. And come to the perspective. And just drag this uh, boxes to the middle of it. Somewhere just like that. The next thing you need to do is uh, select the plane because the plane is going to act as uh, your curtain and this, uh, th on this plane we are going to apply the material as uh, whatever you want and everything is going to get worked on this. So what you need to do is go to modify and give a modifier, a cloth modifier for this plane and in this go to the group and make a group of uh, vertices which you are going to connect to the node. So just select this group make a group and uh, name it as maybe a top and on this just click on the node and connect this to this particular box which I've created here so you can see a top is node to the box and uh, similarly do the same thing over here just come back come to the group and select this group here make a group and maybe you can name it as middle and then go to the node and link this box to this right now come back and then what you need to do is applying the material for this so what you can do just click on the object properties and select the plane here and click on the cloth and just apply cotton maybe you can apply and you can change whatever uh, uh, parameters you want to change inside and just click on OK <coughs> the next thing you need to do is simulate local and just come to the front view and what you can do next is just select one of the box and click on the R option so it will start scaling and you can it's just like the plane is being changed to the cloth now and whatever you do the plane is going to behave like a cloth so so you can try this out you can try different material and see the difference so you can see that uh, 
the cloth is not so smooth in this case that's because I have given uh, very less polygon counts when I was creating the plane so when you're doing it you can you know you can uh, give your own specifications so this technique uh, basically works and uh, it helps you to create uh, awesome very pretty good decent stuff uh, cloth stuff so just try this out and uh, let me know your <coughs> if you have any doubts regarding this following this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you like this video uh, please subscribe me and let me know your feedbacks about the video and uh, if you need any more tutorials on any subjects you can uh, ask me and I'll be trying to upload that and uh, you can always write write to me at kitsia.pro.user at gmail.com regarding any queries or if you want me to uh, take up any uh, CAD projects etc. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned guys.